even for a very young people, uh, getting ill or injured abroad can lead to very huge expenses and, and you have to be aware about this. The quality of the medicine is going up, it's going up, it's going up. But the prices are going up, 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 up too. And you can imagine that in some African or Asian countries, medicine is the same price than New York. There are some private hospitals, for example, in Balearic Island or in Canary Island, where they try to increase the, the, volume, the value of your treatment. When you're going to Austria, you are going to a ski clinic. Just a little injury on your knee and you're on the operation table before you, you, before you know that. And sometimes it's not necessary. Uh, we've had cases over $1 million uh, for, for um, unwell children from brain aneurysms and things like that in the US. So that's where I guess we see a lot more of our costs uh, in, around travel insurance and travel assistance. And we have to try to negotiate. And to make that there is no over-treatment, that the treatment is what we have to do, not much, not less, not more, just what we have to do. If you just send the patient to the, the hospital, it may cost a lot. So we have to be there. You have to, to monitor this, uh, the, the, the treatment and so on in order to have a fair cost. Very simple conditions uh, can, can uh, uh, lead to, uh, to huge expenses. So, so be, be sure to be, uh, uh, to be insured properly.